Water is a limited natural resource that plays a key role in the production of energy. The availability of water for energy development is critical to the economic security and prosperity of the United States. Thermoelectric power plants require large amounts of water to produce electricity. A thermoelectric power plant's water use can be measured in gallons per megawatt hour of electricity. A megawatt hour is a little more than it takes to power an average household for a month. The type of cooling system used in the power plant and the plant design determine how much water is consumed. There are three main types of cooling systems being used today. Let's look at these options. A typical coal-fired power plant with a once-through wet cooling system withdraws about 35,000 gallons per megawatt hour of electricity generated, but returns most of it to the source. After the water is withdrawn from the river, lake, ocean, or reservoir, it is used to condense steam in the power plant. In the condenser, it absorbs heat from the steam and is then returned to the source, with 200 gallons lost to evaporation per megawatt hour produced. The next option is a recirculating wet cooling system. This cooling system withdraws 90 to 99 percent less water than a once-through system, only about 600 gallons per megawatt hour. However, it loses most of it, 450 gallons per megawatt hour, to evaporation. After the water is withdrawn from the source, it is continuously circulated through a cooling tower and a condenser. As cooling water is lost, more water is required to make up for the difference in the system. The third option is a dry cooling system, which requires no cooling water but instead relies on air for cooling. Fans in the condenser create a considerable amount of airflow to cool the steam. Because the fans and other mechanical parts of a dry cooling system take electricity to run, a plant with a dry cooling system may require more fuel to produce the same net quantity of electricity as plants with wet cooling systems. As mentioned previously, a thermoelectric power plant's design can also determine how much water is used. Most of the nation's power plants are coal-fired steam plants, as you saw illustrated with the wet cooling systems. A plant that has been designed to use both gas and steam turbines is called a natural gas combined cycle power plant. Because the exhaust from the gas turbine is used to boil water for the steam cycle, this plant design is more efficient than the coal-fired steam plant. A dry cooling system at a natural gas combined cycle plant uses no cooling water. Many new power plants that are being built or proposed are natural gas combined cycle plants with dry cooling systems. To learn more about how water is used in energy development, check out GAO-15-545 in the Technology Assessment section of GAO.gov.